Hello, my peepers. Welcome to Shaleen's Creativity Room. It is Friday, December 7th. December. What the hell? Can we go back in time, please? It is January 7th, 2022. I am so sorry that I keep saying December. Okay. Okay. Um... Yeah, there's no birthdays today. Let's do wisdom quote. Sing the song that only you can sing. Write the book that only you can write. Build the product that only you can build. Live the life that only you can live by Naval Ravikant. Oh, where'd that come from? I don't know. Let's see. Word of the day. Where's my... Oh, my God. I'm missing everything. Everything fell. <clears throat> okay. Word of the day. Let's see. Pot. Valiant. Pot. Valiant. The noun means a person displaying boldness or courage while drunk. The adjective is displaying bravado under the influence of alcohol. Okay, there's that. Um, uh, um, okay. Okay, my tea is ready. I got to take my tea bag out of my cup. Okay, um, today's weather, high of 22, variable clouds with snow showers. Okay. 
Let's do um, cloudy. And then I'll put some snowflakes around it. Um, let's do this Victorian velvet. with some snowflakes. <sighs> snowflakes. Snowflakes. <laughs> okay. Whoop. Where'd it go? Oh, man. Where'd it go? Did I? It's on my lap. No. I just lost my snowflake. Where'd it go? Probably on the floor. How am I going to find it on my floor? Where'd my snowflake go? Oh, people, I'm just, I found it. It's over. It was still on the table. It just bounced a little bit. Okay, I got it. Yesterday was National Cut It Up Day, Cuddle Up Day. It was supposed to be snowy. It wasn't. Okay, what are we doing today? Vacuum, I already did. I have a couple things to check on around the house. <sighs> I might play Animal Crossing while watching General Hospital. Watch some floss tube and other videos. I'm cross stitching on Embroiderer Gnome until the cryptids comes in my email. Book at the end. The book is at the end of everything by Mariaki Nijkamp. If I feel like reading, and I will need to watch General Hospital from Wednesday, yesterday, and today. So there's that. And I also have it all right here as well on my little pad. Oh, and I have to do a flip through of a coloring book, which I'm going to do as soon as I'm done here. So let's put this away. Okay, so I did finish my s number two of Whipco this month, so I've met. The two goals for January. I still need to upload a picture. Um, hours. I don't know. Um, I don't even think that's right. I think that was right. I don't know. Okay, so this was four and a half hours. And this was three and a half hours yesterday. Okay, there's that. Um, yesterday I cross stitched on Embroiderer Gnome, which is in the other room. I did not watch any floss tube yesterday, but I did the day before. I watched Crafting with Orchid floss tube number 44. I watched Dizzy Stitcher, the Whip Parade. Oh my gosh, people. Now, I watch Dizzy Stitcher once in a while, and he stitches a lot of Hades. 
He has like 45 whips. I bet you 90% of them, 95% of them are full coverage. Not all Hades, but full coverage. Out of those Hades, out of those full coverage, 95% of them are Hades. Yes. I, I, I didn't know what to think when I was watching that. I'm like, oh, really? Seriously? I watched Ch Shady Tree Stitchers 2021 wrap up. Chris Cross Stitch Floss Tube number 33. Jesse Marie Does Stuff Floss Tube number 237. And Stitcherista's vlog from um, January 4th. So there is that. Um. Yeah. So I'm working on the gnome. I need to write down morning video. Morning video today. Okay. Um where was I yesterday? Very somber here. Um, my cat Blitz was acting strange on Wednesday. She was totally fine Tuesday. Ate, eating, drinking, lovey, talking to me like she always talked to me. Wednesday, hmm, she was just kind of laying around the house. Um, she wasn't eating or drinking. She'd let me hold her and she'd purr. But she never talked. I felt her nose. Her nose was cold and wet. I felt her ears. Her ears were cold. And I'm like, okay, she's not running a fever. So Scott says, oh, if she's not feeling better the next day, we'll um call the vet probably Friday. Well, I got up yesterday morning and... She still wasn't eating or drinking. She still was just laying around. Um, the boys got here. She let Carson pet her. She let him love her up. And she's still laying in the, you know, on the couch. I go put the boys on the bus. I come in. She's a totally different cat. I went to go hold her. She wouldn't let me. If you can see, she she wasn't scratching me, scratching me. She just was pushing off on me because she didn't want me to hold her. So she scratched me a little bit, but it wasn't out of just scratching me. Um, she laid down on the floor and cried like she was in pain. And then she was walking sideways. So I knew something was up. So I went, I, I text my husband, as soon as you get this message, get your butt home. So I went in the bathroom for a couple of minutes, came out, and she was missing. I searched this house top and bottom for all of her hiding spots. And I kept checking one spot two or three times. Couldn't find her. She finally came out from the first hiding spot I had looked. And she was just crying, and she couldn't walk. So I was, at this point, I'm just waiting for Scott. <clears throat> so since I knew she had gone into hiding already, I hurried up and put her in the crate. And she went right in, and she laid there, and then once in a while she would cry in pain. So we got her to the vet at 11 a.m., and at that point... She was done. She wouldn't move. They went to take her temperature because they said she felt cold. And her temperature was way down. They were going to warm her up. But I noticed she was drooling really bad. Her tongue was hanging out. And they checked. And she was very anemic. And they could have done, excuse me. They could have done a blood transfusion, but it probably wouldn't have helped because she was already pretty much gone. So, 
So I told them she was totally fine on Tuesday. What the hell happened? They said that cats hide when they're sick. Not hide like hide in the house, but they will hide it from you. And she's probably been sick a while. She could have had cancer. Um, that'll cause this. Um, since the fleas were bad this year and we had a problem with fleas, the fleas are carrying a disease. And it could have been from that. Um, and it's contagious. So Monday, Pearl and Allie go to the vet just to get tested and to get checked over to make sure that they're okay. I'm sorry. I thought I could tell you guys I'm crying. This is the cat that was always in my Zooms. Um, she also would jump up here during my videos and my live streams. She was the one that talked to me all day long. Um, just praying and hoping that since my other cats have seen fine, that they are fine. Five, losing five cats in two years is just not acceptable. <laughs> um, yeah, she's the fifth cat since, um, I think Molly was March or May of 2020. She was the first one. I mean, not the first of any of my cats. She's just the first of this last batch of cats. <sighs> We've always had around four or five cats at a time. You know, I, I, you know, I've always had like batch one, batch two. Um, so like Molly was March or May of 2020, and then Ruby, Outsider, and then not too long ago was Rascal. Rascal and Outsider were both 17 years old. I was expecting that. I miss them, but. You know, and I cried and I grieved for them. But Molly was unexpected. Ruby had cancer. She went real quick. She was only 10. Most of my cats die of old age. Blitz was 14. I've only had her for a year and a half. She was my sister-in-law's cat. I did let my sister-in-law know, and I told her that I had Blitz cremated and had a claw, had a clay paw print made, and I asked her if she wanted any of it. She is going to take the paw clay print, and I will have the ashes here. I will probably keep them in this room because this is the room that she was in 99% of the time. She loved this room. She was always in here with me. And she slept in here at night. I had to leave the door open. I keep looking back. Did I miss any signs? No, I didn't. So, that's why there was no morning video yesterday and no live stream last night. Um, I probably won't be reading today. I probably can't concentrate. I'm just going to sit and stitch today and watch YouTube videos. I did go into Zoom last night because I needed to be distracted and that worked. Um, hmm. <clears throat> I may go into Zoom today. I don't know yet. I want to get back into my routine, which I didn't even look at when I wrote this all out. Where is my routine? I have not routine, but a schedule. I have a schedule. So Fridays, oh, 
Oh, the Zoom is stitching 911. I don't know about that. And I want to watch 10 p.m. Mrs. Coffee. I want to go back into Mrs. Coffee's lives. I have not been in her lives in probably three months. If she has a live tonight. I know her, her dad's mom passed away, which is her grandmother, the other day. So, um, yeah. So, I think I'm just... Okay, I shall wear purple. I'm going to make a check mark. What was the other one I stitched on? The Giggles Boy. Just so I know that I did... I don't need to write finish there because I'm writing that there. Just so I know that I worked on it this year. Okay. Yeah. 22 stash be gone. I told you guys. I am working on. Also candles. Melts. And tea. So today. I'm drinking the last tea. Of this. I'll take a picture, post it in 22 Stash Be Gone. Yeah. <clears throat> That's it for today. I don't have much else to talk about. I just wanted you to, guys to know what's been going on, why there was no morning video. If you don't see me much today, that is why... It's going to be a somber weekend. It's really hard for me to be in here right now without her because she always comes up here and talks to me. So I have been stitching more in the family room. I got a new laptop so I could have one set up in there. And that's pretty much where I do my Zooms now. And... um. Yes, I do my Zooms and watch Floss Tube in there. It's easier for me to sit in on the couch. So I've been doing that. Um, I just have to upload. I need to write that down too. Upload pictures. Okay. So that is it for today. I will hopefully will have a morning video tomorrow. If I don't, it's because I'm busy. I do have a nail appointment at 11 a.m. So I should be able to do a morning video. If not, you will see my plan with me video on Sunday. So that's it for today. I hope that you have a great day and a great weekend. And I will see you all later. I love you guys. Bye-bye.